الاساسيه التي تتبعونها لتنبيه المواطنين على خطر <تصفيق> It's said that we all have to suck the big green weenie at one point or another, but the Thai Navy got way too close recently to playing this euphemism out literally during a hazing event. Petty Officer Second Class Thaksin Nakpilai has been arrested for his role in a video that went viral recently, showing him forcing conscripts to drink a mixture of human semen and even worse, fish sauce. I guess you could look at the fish sauce as a blessing. It really is the only condiment in existence that can mask the taste of clam juice. The NCO is being held for 30 days and, in a nice swift kick of ironic justice, will also receive a discharge. Along with suspensions handed down to various officers in the chain of command, the incident has sparked an apparently much needed investigation into the conduct of the Thai Navy. Cheers. <laughs> the Army has also been busy renaming many of its most prominent bases. Facilities named after Confederate soldiers are getting rebranded, a change that has been heralded as long overdue and also criticized as a meaningless gesture and an example of cancel culture. The Naming Commission has identified over 700 names to be removed from federal lands, a volume of Confederate cancellations unseen since General Sherman's fun little backpacking trip through Atlanta. Critics have pointed out how needlessly expensive the move is, and for some bases, like Fort Bragg, the huge economic and cultural connections to their surrounding communities would create expensive adjustments for their civilian partners as well. <laughs> it's almost like the Army maybe shouldn't have named a bunch of bases after fighting for slavers in the first place. But what's done is done, and it's way easier to change a sign than do something meaningful like, you know, actually root out racism in the ranks. <laughs> because the United States military is shrinking. The Pentagon wants to cut numbers by the thousands. A few thousand in the Army, Navy, and Air Force specifically. If you're in the Marines, you might be unaffected as their numbers will remain the same, if not get a small bump. And if you're in the Space Force, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I got, I got nothing. I still can't believe you guys are real. <laughs> anyway, the lowering of numbers comes at the request of the Army and Navy as they struggle to meet recruitment goals. Comptroller Michael McCord blames the downgrade in troop numbers on, quote, the low unemployment rate right now and the declining propensity to serve, which he cites as making it impossible for branches to meet previously set recruitment numbers. We can extrapolate two things from this. One, the Army still thinks that lowering standards is the solution when they have trouble meeting them. And two, the Army has to rely on a economic system to attract recruits. Look, the fact that you're banking on a dog economy and a lack of options to drive people through your doors might be half the reason that you're having trouble filling seats. Okay, Roger, solid copy. At least you admit it. Economic prosperity becoming a national security issue aside, if you're looking at Russia and China right now and thinking this might not be the best time to shrink our forces, then you're not alone. Florida man is at it again. You know what it is? He never really takes a break, does he? This time, he got caught stealing his twin brother's identity to use his veteran benefits. Really? Is it worth it to steal a veteran's ID for a, a, a free meal at Denny's? Maybe not, but for almost $64,000, perhaps. After pleading guilty this January, this valor-stealing asshat is going to have to repay over $32,000 in medical treatments, almost 19 grand in housing costs, and over 12,000 in nutritional benefits. 12,000 in nutri... How many Grand Slam breakfasts did this guy scam? Guys, and this is for you civilians out there, if you're gonna steal someone's identity, you could do better than a veteran. Seriously, you steal one of our identities, your credit score automatically drops at least 250 points. The interest rate on whatever you're driving skyrockets up at least 20%. And people who steal a veteran's identity are one and a half times more likely to kill themselves than those who steal a non-veteran identity. What's going on, guys? If you like that, click this link here to watch more. If you're ready to subscribe and keep us in business, click on this link here. And you know the selective service is coming back. <laughs> I don't want to keep my day job, so subscribe.